Welcome to the video presentation of our paper titled HR Crime Human Related Anomaly Detection in Surveillance Videos. We will start this presentation by giving a short introduction. We will then discuss the HR Crime dataset followed by our feature extraction pipeline. After that, we will show our results, discuss these results, and talk about feature work. Surveillance footage is considered material evidence when the anomalies captured on the footage are identified as crimes, and therefore play an essential role in preventing and solving these crimes. In the past years, there has been much research in the field of video surveillance anomaly detection. However, detecting anomalous events in such videos can be challenging, due to insufficient annotated data and also due to the broad definition of the, de of the term anomaly such as in these example videos. Nonetheless, due to the overwhelming amount of surveillance video data available today, there is a great need to automate abnormality detection in such videos. Small progress has also been made in the field of human-related anomaly detection. Morai et al. proposed the embed RNN architecture for anomaly detection in surveillance videos based on skeleton trajectories, described by local and global body movement. One of the datasets used was the Sh Shanghai Tech dataset, with anomalies such as running and jumping. Embed RNN uses skeleton motion sequences divided into global and local components to identify human-related anomalous events from reg regular events. The global component indicates the whole body movement, while the local component represents the relative position of the joints to the center of the body. One reason for the little progress in human-related anomaly analysis might be the lack of human-centered anom anomaly-related datasets. With our work, we target this shortage by introducing the human-related crime dataset, HR Crime, and also by presenting baseline results on HR Crime. The HR Crime dataset is based on the UCF Crime dataset, consisting of 950 anomalous videos divided into 13 crime categories. In addition, there are 950 normal videos. The videos from this dataset are filmed using different surveillance cameras in various locations around the world. However, only a subset of it is human-related. Therefore, for further human-related anomaly analysis, we extracted HR crime out of UCF crime using a few guidelines. First of all, we omitted videos of anomalous events that are not human-related. We also excluded videos that do not have a clear view of the people at the scene. In addition, we ignored videos with large crowds. And finally, we also omitted videos longer than 100 minutes. The table here on the right shows the number of videos in the original UCF crime dataset and the number of human-related videos. As can be seen, most of the categories consist mainly of human-related videos. For instance, when we look at the category shoplifting, we can see that all of the videos are human-related. However, when we look at the category road accidents, we see that this category has relatively the least number of human-related videos. As we've mentioned, the HR crime dataset is divided into 13 crime categories. These are example frames from each crime category and an example frame for the normal category. As can be seen from these examples, the HR crime dataset is quite complex compared to the Shanghai Tech dataset. To prepare videos from HR crime for skeleton based anomaly detection, we follow this pipeline. The video images are first fed into the object detector, which returns the bonding boxes of human proposals. Based on previous work, we use a spatial pyramid bullying based version of YOLO3. We then extracted skeletons from the human proposals using alpha pose, which returns 17 key points per skeleton representing different body part locations. And finally, to track skeletons, we applied pose flow. 
These are visual examples of skeletons obtained from HR Crime using our feature extraction pipeline. As can be seen, the skeletons are reasonably accurate for higher quality videos and where the person is clearly in the camera view. However, the feature extraction pipeline fails to detect people and their poses accurately for videos of lower quality or insufficient lighting. HR Shanghai Tech is structured in a camera-wise manner. However, this is not the case for HR Crime. Therefore, to ensure consistency between the two datasets, we train the AMPED RNN architecture again on the whole HR Shanghai Tech training set from all the 12 cameras. The model obtained from training the HR Shanghai Tech set achieves a slightly lower performance of 0.7346 compared to the performance reported by the authors. This indicates that camera settings can influence the complexity of the anomaly detection problem when using MPET RNN. Next, to establish the HR crime baseline, we first tested the, uh, the pre-trained MPET RNN on the HR crime test set without explicitly fine-tuning the model to the new domain. These results indicate that the pre-trained MPET RNN model can make promising predictions even on an unseen domain, if the human subjects are reasonably present in committing the anomalies. For this experiment, we also provide results in a class-wise manner. For our final experiment, we trained the MPET R architecture, the MPET RNN architecture, using the newly created HR crime. We also fine-tuned the pre-trained MPET RNN model on HR Crime, aiming to close the structural gap between the two datasets. The model trained in Novo on HR Crime achieves a performance of 0 0.603, which is explained by the increased complexity of the HR Crime dataset compared to the HR Shanghai Tech dataset. The fine-tuned model achieves a per lower performance of 0 0.5879, Compared to the results of experiment C, our fine-tuned model shows a slight increase in performance, suggesting that the pre-training approach is still relevant to consider in this case. You can find more details on these results in our paper. Our results show a clear difference in performance between HR Shanghai Tech and HR Crime. We suspect this is due to the complexity gap between the two datasets. HR Shanghai Tech consists of videos shot on the same university campus. On the other hand, HR Crime is a collection of YouTube videos, where each video is filmed in a different location. Also, the types of anomalies differ greatly. HR Shanghai Tech contains anomalous events such as running and jumping, while HR Crime consists of real-world crime scenes with natural movements that are not staged. The quality of the videos also plays an important role in anomaly detection. The HR Shanghai Tech videos are of high quality, while the HR Crime videos range in quality and lighting, as we've shown. So skeletons and trajectories are detected less accurately for HR Crime. Another factor that plays an essential role is the frame level evaluation. Each video is annotated with ground truth labels indicating the window of an anomalous event. As we mentioned before, HR crime is quite complex, therefore an anomalous event can have multiple anomalous and normal events happening in the same video. However, predictions and evaluations are made per frame. An alternative might be to label the videos temporarily and spatially to not only evaluate if a frame contains an anomalous event, but also to find the area where it occurs. This is a more accurate way of evaluating anomalous events. However, it requires laborious work to annotate video frames manually. For future work, we plan to categorically classify the identified anomalies by analyzing the descriptors of the movement of the body. This is something that we are working on now and will continue to explore. Thank you for watching our video presentation. Scan this QR code to check out the HR Crime dataset that is now publicly available.